Lincoln's goal scorer today, Teddy Bishop, with me. Um, I can see in your face, we'll talk about your goals in a bit, but just heartbroken the way it ended. Yeah, sickening really, because we know we probably deserved the three points today. Uh, the manager deserved it after all the hard work he's been putting in as well. So, yeah, really, really tough to take, but we just have to pick ourselves up and go again. It felt to me like, particularly the second half, there was a real turn in this part of the season for you as a group of players. You took the game but you know, between the, between your teeth and really got onto it. Yeah, well, like I, I think I had an interview a couple of weeks ago and I said all it takes sometimes is one goal and you get a bit of belief. Uh, we've been struggling of late, haven't scored, but as soon as that first goal went in, you know, you saw it from everyone that was lifted, the belief was back. We're playing like the team we were at the start of the season again, so that's all it takes. So hopefully we can uh, take some momentum from this game going into the next and we can build on this point. Frustrating because, you know, the quality of your goals as a team were very high and yet you'd probably look at the goals you conceded as a bit sloppy. Yeah, awful, really. Um, it's just, we worked so hard to score and then we give goals away that just shouldn't be goal. So, yeah, it is really frustrating, but look, no one means to make errors. We're a team, we pick ourselves up as a team and we go again. Has it been difficult as a group of players to keep yourself up? The manager has said, he said to me before the game, that you know, talking to you as players, he's, he's not one of people moping around the training ground. No, he's been brilliant uh, because often in this scenario, you can get a manager that comes in and just batters people. When people are on the floor, you don't need it. It makes you worse. So the gaffers kept everyone in good spirits and I think that showed by our second half performance today. So... Uh, yeah, we just keep going. Got to point out of it because of your two goals. The, the first one, I don't think you could have hit a better side foot, could you? No, well, uh, I didn't know the ball was going to come to me, to be fair. Mags normally smashes it across the front, so I was surprised when I see it come to me and just thought you'd get good contact on it and I was happy to see it fly into the top corner. And then the second one, uh, driven into the bottom of the net? Yeah, same sort of finish, sort of other post, really. Um, just about, it was a great ball from Lewis, about being in the right areas and when you get them opportunities, you have to take them. And... Um, you played at fullback today. We've seen you play up top. We've seen you play midfield. I, I'm assuming midfield is where you prefer to be. Um, yeah, you know, but when the manager asked me to do a job, I'll play anywhere for him. It's that sort of manager. So, uh, yeah, as long as I'm fit and uh, playing my football, I'm happy. You stick me anywhere and I'll be happy. And I guess the, the game's in front of you, isn't it, from fullback, which is a nice position from somebody with your yeah. skill set. Yeah, often you get you get more space at fullback. Obviously, I've never played there before, so I'm learning on the job, but... Whereas sometimes in midfield you can kind of get lost in the game because there's no space to really get on the ball and sometimes as a fullback you can get a lot of the ball. So yeah, I enjoyed it today. You got the full 90 as well today which must be pleasing getting that fitness as well. Yeah, well that's three in a row now, three in a week. So that's massive for me personally. Um, just need to keep going now. Hopefully the uh, Lincoln fans can see the, the best of me now. Yeah, you saw honestly, a good reception from the away fans today. It felt like after a difficult couple of, of games, a positive step in the right direction. Yeah, well, they've been brilliant the last month or so. We know it's been tough on them. They still they still turn up in their numbers, um, so we can't thank them enough. We just need to say to them, keep stick with us and we'll all be all right. And overall, you know, great performance too. I thought another player worthy of a mention is young Freddie, who's, who's you know, is obviously only 17. He, he got a tough time in the first half from the defenders, but second half he gave, he gave it back to him. Yeah, Freddie's been brilliant. Uh, we missed him for a couple of weeks where he had a concussion, but when he's out there, you forget he's 17. He's that good, he's that powerful, he's that much of a presence. Um, he, uh, if he keeps his head down, works hard, he's got a great future in the game and hopefully he stays with us for a long time. I guess finally the, the, the thing is now to, to go to next week and you can get value out of, albeit a disappointing draw in the end, by the win next week. Yeah, definitely. Take this momentum into the next week. We know we should be winning games like this. We need to be climbing the table. So uh, hopefully we can get the three points next week. Thanks a lot for joining us. Cheers.